auto hockey people and players of balloons tower defense number six got this off steam for the steam summer sale so that was awesome but i figured i would do a video on here uh you know this is not cheating in any way all this information is available on their actual wikipedia page uh, so yeah let's just talk about it and we'll see it in action so basically what this script is going to do is it's going to allow us to see what's going to happen that round how many balloons are coming that round how much money am i going to make that round it's basically there to help you plan ahead if you uh, want that i found this kind of fun to play with and make and use from time to time if there's you know something i'm playing on like super crazy hard or something i definitely want this uh, so we're going to run through the code in case you guys want to understand it or make any changes you definitely can uh, if you don't know how to install auto hotkeys uh, there will be a video on that where i have an intro on how to install and run your first script it's super simple it's free uh, it's perfectly safe that question comes up all the time for some odd reason it's, it's a coding language so the only unsafe thing is if you did something unsafe. Um, so we're going to start out with my pick, which is going to equal zero. My pick is what level you're picking. You know, so it's just going to start at level zero, so it's blank. Um, <clears throat> that way we can just right away define a variable. Uh, right away you're going to get a message box. Uh, it's going to be, the variable is intro. And it just says, version one, you know, this is version one of my script, can toggle the window off and on with F1. So F1 is going to be our hotkey. You can change that to whatever you want right here. So F1, change it to F12, change it to Control A, what have you, whatever you feel most comfortable using. I always use F1 for the most part for my scripts. And it's going to display that uh, info right here as a message box. Obviously, we'll see all this in action in case you don't understand what some of this code means. F1, we're going to use a toggle. That's basically an on and off switch in case we want to turn that little GUI that pops up, graphical user interface. Maybe we want to hide it temporarily, but then bring it back. That's what this is doing. It's basically turning that GUI on and off. So, you know, if toggle, go to show GUI. If not, destroy the GUI. So here's our GUI. It's a very small one. Uh, you know, you're playing a video game. I don't want to take up your screen. I kept it as small as I possibly could to make it still look uh, decent, but not take up a lot of your space. That way you could put it maybe in like a field or something and it won't block your view. Plus, if you really want, you can always hide it and bring it back easily. Uh, so I won't go over GUIs. You know, I've done tons of videos on how to do these. It is always on top. That way, if you're clicking around on your game, it won't go behind it, and then you have to Alt-Tab to it. It's always going to be visible for you, which I think is the best. Uh, if you click the X button on the GUI, it's called GUI Close, Exit App. That is going to close the script down completely. That way, when you're done, all you got to do is push that little red X, and it's gone. NumPad Add. So, or if you click in the GUI, uh, where is it? Add. So I added two ways to do this. It's going to automatically count to the next level. So if you're level 8 and you push either the plus sign on your numpad or you click the add on the GUI, it's then going to go to level 9. So just uh, two options there if you want to do it with a mouse click or a keyboard click. I kind of added some variety. Once again, you can change this. If you don't like numpad add, you can change it to the minus symbol or you know the enter on your numpad, whatever. Uh, go! So we're going to submit, GUI add, and we are going to loop through a desktop and this fo text file. So if you want to put the data that shows you all this information, it, you need to put it on your desktop. If you want to put it anywhere else, you are going to need to change this desktop thing to the actual file path. If you put it like in your documents, or something like that, you are going to need to change that. But as it is right now, it does need to be on your desktop with your script. Um, so I'll show you that right here. It's just a text file. And as you can see, it just has all the level information. So level one, you got 20, 20, 20 red. That's basically how much money you're going to make. Um, and 20 red because each one's worth one, so you make 20 bucks. And that's basically just looping through. It's doing each line by one. It's getting on the information, like health costs. Like if you were to, as you saw, there's that 2020. One of those numbers means 20 bucks you'll make. Uh, but if you were to miss every single balloon, you would lose 20 health. So that's what that's saying, money and then balloons. 
And then GUI, up, uh, basically just updating the GUIs. Like I said, I'm not doing any explanation on a lot of the GUI stuff just because I've done videos on there. So yeah, uh, that's the code. I showed you things you need to change if you want uh, or just use it how it is. Um, basically just, you know, this line of code, F1, or if you put the file somewhere else, uh, line 40, uh, just change the file path here. And if you, for some reason, change the name of the text file, you do need to update it here also. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, actually see this in action. So I will go ahead, launch the game, and I will be right back with you. And I'm back after about a minute, two seconds for you, I guess. Uh, but yeah, all right, uh, I'm running the code here. And uh, let's, let's start over here. Uh, restart, restart. So obviously I'm starting on level one. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, where did that message box go? So here it is, like I was saying, I forgot to mention if you do change the hotkey from F1 to like F12, you might wanna update this information just so you know, or if you share it with friends, push okay. We're gonna go ahead, press F1. Here is our message box. I'm gonna move it over, I'll put it up here so it's just kinda out of the way, it's in the field. Uh, like I said, it starts at level zero, so no information, but we're starting at level one, so we want that. So here's our health cost. If I miss every balloon, I'm going to lose 20 life. If I hit every balloon, I'm going to make $20. And there's going to be 20 red balloons. That sounds pretty easy. Let's just do something here. Obviously, I'm not being very strategic right now because this is just a video. And there is our 20 red balloons. And so I'm on level 2. I can click this little plus symbol here to go to level two or on my keyboard, I can click 